Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. If you go to Yieldback's ETF website under education and distribution schedule, you will notice one thing, that it has a new distribution schedule. And also when you look at the declaration date, you will see, okay, look at this 10-2, 10-9, 10, 10-16, 10, 10, 10 What does that mean is that this is Wednesday, all these are Wednesday date. So every Wednesday, Yieldmax ETF announced the distribution for some of the ETF, right? And every Friday, the payments are made. So Wednesday, they announce the declaration or distribution, or you can call it dividend, whatever you want to call it. And Friday, you get the payment. Now, these are actually break down into the four different groups. If you go down over here, what you see is these are into four different groups. Now, for the people who like to flip around the hop around from one to another ETF, just collect the dividend and move on to the next one. For them, you know, they, this is just like a wonderful thing, right? I mean, say you just buy Tesla, from there you move to NVDY, Kony, and Mist, you know, all those, right? Like you can keep hopping around. But is it really profitable just hopping from one to another? So if you look at the 10 9, which is actually day after tomorrow. Group B will have the ETF distribution and all sides. When you go to Group B, is NVDY is at the top of that. So now what I want to do in this video is take a look at NVDY and see how did the past performance reverse about it, you know. Based on the past performance or looking at the whole year of history, how did NVDY perform? Should we flip it this month or we should skip it so declaration date is 10 9 so the way i do is usually i buy it a day before the declaration date and sell it on the day the payment is received so now let's take a look at the historical data and see if it makes sense to flip it for this month but before that just one request please share subscribe like comment and one more thing i'm not a financial advisor so I'm not going to tell you what to sell, what to buy, when to sell, when to buy. I'm a mathematician. All I do is I do the mathematical analysis. I take a look at the historical data and based on that, try to make some sense of it. And there is no guarantee right, that the future performance will be same as the, the past performance. But then again, from the previous data, it will help us to make some forecasting and make some future decisions. So let's take a look at it. right? So. So if you go to our Yieldmax ETF website over here, and then since we are talking about NVDY, which is NVDI, so let's take a look at NVDY here. Looking at NVDY. So this is, if you look at the schedule, it says, okay, which month, how much distribution was paid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this over here and paste it into the Excel spreadsheet, right? Now, let's transfer that into the, the table so here it is so i transferred everything right january february march and the amount of distribution here it is right january february march this is the month and this is the distribution that was paid for that month so i want to keep this video short so i'm not going to go into the detail of you know how did nvidia stock perform the whole year how did nvdy perform that's a different strategy uh, we can talk about it in some other video. And this one, we're just going to be focusing on flipping. Should we flip it? Should we'll be focusing on one thing. Should we flip it or skip it? And we will be looking at the past performance. So let's take a look at it, right? So this is the declaration date, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? January 4th, February 6th, March 5th. So the way I want to do is I want to be consistent. Let's do this just a day before declaration date. Okay, declaration date is January 4. Let's buy it on January 3. If the payment date is 1-9, let's sell it on the day the payment is received. So we will be buying it a day before declaration date and we will sell out on the payment date. So let's do this. So the first one was January. So I put it January, February, March. I put it all into the table for me, right? So let's, I'm just going to do one and then you can do the rest and then we can look at the data. January third right we're buying it a day before distribution is announced so if you go to the yahoo and look at the nvdy here it is nvdy and looking at the historical data 
January 2. If you look over here, January 2 was 22.30, right? January 2, 20, actually, no, January, no, sorry. So we're buying it a day before distribution, so it has to be January 3rd, right? So January 3rd is over here, 21.83, right? 21.83, here you go. On the month of January, how much distribution we got? Uh, 63 cents, right? Okay. Now we're selling it on the day we receive the payment, which is January 9. So let's take a look at the January 9. What is the price on January 9 is on the 22.20, right? Okay. So what did that mean? So dividend paid was 0.63. And for the sake of uh, calculation, let's assume we are investing $5,000 into that, right? So if I invest $5,000 and we are purchasing it at 21.83, so I can buy 229.04. NVDY share right now I do know we don't trade in fraction but for the sake of simplicity I will leave it as it is now what does that really mean right so how much we gain and loss right so you look at this, the price we sell it and then the price we bought it right? the difference of that you, and you add that with the dividend right and that is what we will be making right so let's do this I'm going to do this over here the price we sell it right and then the purchase price right that's the difference of the gain we have and then we got dividend too right so which is actually 60 this one so each one of them i'm making 0 0.9960 like one dollar and since i bought 229 of this so the gain is this one multiplied by this one right so what does that mean that means in the month of january if if I buy it a day before distribution and sell it on a day the payment has been received, I make $228 if I invest $5,000 into that, right? So you can do the same thing for February, March, April, May, all of them. So I'm not going to do it. Let's do one more thing. Like Let's go to February too, right? So February, the declaration date was 26. So we're going to be buying on 25. We'll go to Yahoo, look at the, the, the price of the, on that, February 5. The price of 26.56 right so we put 26.56 now the how much the dividend was paid 1.53 1.53 and then since we are paying it on the day we got the payment so when we got a payment 29 29 we got a payment and what is the price on 29 so we can sell it so pay, what is 25.50 25.50 you do the, the same calculation you don't need to actually do it i just drag it over here so what we made is 88 dollars so we didn't make much but it still is in in green so you can keep doing it for all every single one of them so if you look at that for the last nine months if you've been flipping it every month month after month pretty much seven of those we make money even though we lose money but it's very very minimal so and nvdy the flipping actually does pay off so i don't know how it will be on the month of october so if you want to buy it by using this strategy, you have to buy it tomorrow. So I am planning to buy some NVDY tomorrow, which is just a day before the distribution, and will sell it on the day I get the payment. And I will see how it turns out. And we can talk about it probably maybe next week or so when we look at the, about flipping into the another group over here. Let's see which group we're going to be flipping it. We can be thinking about flipping to maybe Connie and week after that MSTY. So this was the video for today. So I hope you like it. If you like, so please share, subscribe, comment. I hope to see you soon with some new video. Thank you and have a good day.